Hello my fellow misfortunates and welcome to a game of crit misfortune. We are going for a very crazy build, not this one, it's just a, it didn't feel like making a new page and this comes closest to what I'm doing. So we're going Essence Weaver first and then we're just stacking Infinity Edges and as Berserker's Greaves will be our only attack speed item. Uh, wow, they're already flaming each other, oh my god. Um, so what? I mean, who cares? So, we are going full crit without any zeal items, which does mean we are stacking infinity edges, but just just buying infinity edges exclusively is um, very meme -y. We should much rather go for Essence Reaver. First item, and then stack infinity edges, right? So, uh, also the build we're going... Why is this showing the max kills challenge? I uh, need this to be gone so it doesn't distract me, but yeah, I'm in a max kills challenge with my partner Icon, which means if I get more kills than seven other users of the app, then I will earn coins, which I can eventually spend for riot points. If you also want to be doing that, first link in the description lets you join the Misfortune Club, feel free to do that. And uh, yeah, so we got cut down because they have Mundo and Garen. Um, won't help us in the lane, obviously, but this build has crazy late game. What is that ward? I'd rather have a ward here, right? As soon as Kog'Maw activates his stuff, we... Um, so close to muting her pings. <laughs> yeah, um... For as long as Kog'Maw activates his stupid range enhancing thing, we need to be aware of that. By the way, for the record, I have not once in my entire life won a game against Lulu Kog'Maw. I've obviously not seen Lulu Kog'Maw in a while, but yeah, this uh, this is still something <laughs> to keep in mind. Not a single win. I'm not joking. Not a single one. Zero. Every time I played against Lulu Kog, I've lost. And there was a time when this was meta, so... It's not a trivial amount of games. I really want to mute new Yumi's pings, but I need to last hit. Kind of a dilemma here. Not sure what to do about it. I'm not sure why nobody is attacking the Kog'Maw. But finally a window of opportunity to full mute her. Uh, why is this reversed? Okay. I'm doing W max with this, but for lane we... Want an extra point in Q. Maybe even two, we'll see. Why is she doing that? Feeding them golden experience. Alright, I'm pretty sure <laughs> that my lifetime record of not winning against Lulu Cog will not be broken with this game. Because this Yumi is legitimately trolling. Uh, kind of misfortunate, but we're stuck with it. So what can you do? Our jungler top side. I would not be surprised if they base right now. Nice job, Nunu. We have some free damage here. Kogma needs to uh, watch his step. HP is your most important resource in lane, and Kog'Maw has none of that anymore. Uh, 
pretty sure a dive would not be good. I can't push it fast enough, I don't have the attack speed. And they know what's coming, they already backed off because Array and Sol went missing. Take one plating and base, I have enough for BF sword. Also we got a lot of farm. Um, Compared to Kog'Maw because of the jungle madness earlier. Grab this, grab a ward and we're fine. Alright. I'm not sure about the Mundo mid lane pick. Uh, looks odd, especially considering we're... If we were a full AP team then maybe, because Mundo is really tanky against magic damage. But I will just melt through him. And they don't really... The thing is, as an AD carry, the person you need to be most scared of is the enemy mid laner, because they can typically just one-shot you in the mid-game. But I don't really see Mundo one-shotting us. Ooh, I might have overstepped here. Bit of flash cocoon. No need to be careful. Go for W max, because that's what you do with crit builds. Maybe a third point in Q is also fine. A lot of players are doing this. I don't have flash, so if a counter gank is coming, I need to be on my toes. It's not, this, this is not leading to anything. Well, it might, lead, it might be leading to a dragon. We got lane priority bots. Yeah. Nice. I'm down. Bot lane missed though. Not sure what they are up to. Okay, let's push this under tower if possible. Oh damn, missed both assets. Oh, I don't have enough mana for ER. I wanted to ER the wave and damage them at the same time. So I can base and they are low on health and need to essentially base again. Oh well. Don't have the mana pool yet. Mm. Uh, go base, get Berserker's Greaves. Seems fine. Yeah, I like it. I typically don't want to finish boots early, but the alternative... Well, alternatively I could have gotten double longsword plus boots one. Yeah, maybe that would have been better. Maybe. Oh well. Now my decision uh, has been made. But yeah. Typically don't need boots that early on Misfortune. However, with the Nunu gank now, it does make things a little bit easier, right? Chasing. Alright, that did not go as well as I expected. <laughs> At least with the counter gank, Lulu ulti obviously also very annoying. Yes, I take that, that's a minion. If she goes AFK for this, then I don't want to win. <laughs> Good thing about Berserkers is we no longer need to really spend mana to manipulate the wave. And we don't yet have Essence Weaver, we also don't have... Um, Oh, she really missed that. Right, she escapes. Um, yeah, we don't have Essence Reaver and we don't have Mana Flow Band, so being able to spend mana through attack speed is quite nice. 
Wow, those spiderlings get five gold. Did not know that. Mm, we're fine maxing W from this point. But if you take a third point in Q, you need to do that at level 5. Not at level 7. At level 5, 20 extra base damage is worth more than at level 7. That's a loose flash, that's fine. Game is looking fine, to be honest, but I'm still a little bit afraid of Lulu Kog'Maw late game. I hope we can match this. Yeah. I'm still doing very well CS-wise. Maybe I should have gone for a max CS challenge, who knows. At least it's nearby, huh? on her way. He's here, yeah. We just run. Nunu is here for the counter gank, but if I get cocooned, I might die before Nunu arrives. Okay, we can clear this because Nunu is here. Let's make sure he's not spotted, yeah. This lane gank is going to be really good. Lulu has no flash, remember. He's spotted though, this minion saw him. Wow. Wow, Kog'Maw lives so unnecessarily long because of Lulu, it's crazy. I should have flashed one auto attack earlier than I would have lived. My bad. Mm, let's go like this. I don't really want crit in the lane phase, it might mess up my CS. Not sure what Lulu is doing. Okay, she's not backing, which is quite interesting. Pokemon got his blade. I guess we're griefing for Infernal here. Pretty sure we die for this. Elise is there, right? Yumi? Yumi? Okay, Yumi didn't need to do anything. Sure. Unlucky we didn't get Infernal, but happens. If he keeps the wave away from... Wow, really? We take this though. Thanks to Mountain. Alright, get back, get Essence Fever, and uh, try to crack open mid lane. It's easier to do with sideline pressure because they need to react to that. I'm not buying a control ward here. Mine is uh, already on the map again. 
Yeah, this is our objective. Kogma has did not understand how this game works. <laughs> okay. Yeah, now we can stack infinity edges. We got some cooldown reduction for our ulti. Um, also, we got the mana issue covered. Now we just stack attack damage and crit and see what happens. Garen is dead, okay. Mundo has magic resist and no armor. Which is good to know. And I'm alone in the mid lane and two of them are missed. So one of them is missed. Elise is missing. Now she isn't. Okay, and now I know I can push without uh, any problems. They get what tower, huh? I mean, they don't react to top lane. And top lane has so much pressure that I can freely stay mid lane. They need to react to that and mid tower falls. I also need Executioner's Calling for Mundo. I will get that after my first Infinity Edge. Seems correct. We're just poking them, huh? Can't go there. So risky. Uh, let's not die here. Let's not throw our lead. I need to replace my control board. But one and a half minutes left to take Rift Herald. Yeah, Herald? Um, might allow us to take an inip if we play this correctly. I'm not a fan of this chase. Let's go Herald. Got one more minute to take it. I definitely can solo it though. Mountain in 15. We could place Herald, take Mountain. Not sure if that's worth. Since we probably can ma uh, take Mountain anyway. It's not like we need Herald as distraction. Yo, Cutdown is putting in work <laughs> against Mundo. Garen is um, pretty far behind, but against him it will also be very nice in the late game. I just auto instead of queuing because um, it allows me to chase better. Q animation takes longer than auto animation, so by autoing and walking up and attack moving I, um, I don't waste as much time. Okay, Bolt plus heal saves Lulu. Oh, Lulu dies anyway. That's good. Ooh, that's a very, very good Herald. 
allows us to take bot inhibitor, I guess. With double mountain, <laughs> we kill the, the the tower before. Oh, okay, they might even defend this. Damn. Yeah, we we should not be greeting here. It's not worth it. Let's just take that jungle and leave. Let's go on. Um, their blue spawns in twelve. We can't wait that long. It's not worth it. Not worth the risk. We have them in a pretty good lockdown position. From um, macro-wise and stre uh, strength-wise, if we allow them to come back into the game by overstaying, that'd be very bad. Yeah, plays like plays like these are exactly what we don't want to happen. Just don't give them a chance to come back and they won't, right? I bought the longsword because that builds into Executioner's Calling, by the way. Don't chase Mundo. Kogmo. Nice. Ah oh, damn, I'm too slow. Should not have flashed after him. It was a waste. But yeah, we still won the fight overall, which means Kale can take inhibitor and we can take tower with double mountain. Mountain Drake does not work on inhibitors, though. Just something to keep in mind. You cannot take them faster with it. But yeah, we just got double inhib, and... Uh, we can do Baron soon. We need a little bit more gold, though. To my Infinity Edge. Alright, got it. But yeah, I need to rush towards Baron with my team. We can take it so fast with double Mountain. We don't have a control word though, we should yeah, we should not be doing this. Alright. Yo, my cutdown did more damage than my keystone already at minute twenty-three. It will all, all only uh, go up from there. The longer the game goes, the more important cutdown is. And now we got a control ward. Just wait for super minions, and we're good. This is a, it's a fine-ish call. They don't have vision. As long as nobody attacks the ward, we're good. Yeah. All right. Asol wants to reset, then we reset too. Okay, they surrender. But in theory, it's very easy at this point. We just go base, upgrade our items one last time. Everyone goes top lane. We take that with Baron minions. Then we get all three inhibitors through that, and win the game through minion pressure plus Baron minions. So. Um, Obviously also not a game where we could win the max kills challenge because, uh, well, we won this through macro, not through Fiesta. Uh, maybe in high elo I should... Um, I'm playing on my main account in flex, by the way. Um, uh, now in Diamond 3 promos. Uh, probably we should go for max CS challenge, for example, because that's um, what high elo games are more about, and low elo max kills might be better. Um, but yeah, join the Misfortune Club, first link in the description. And if you want to see how to play Misfortune with a lifesteal build, then click the link on your screen right there. A big thank you to all my Patreons and channel members. If you want to become a Patreon yourself, just go to patreon.com slash mfdb. 
But if you rather save your money, you can support me for free by clicking the like and the subscribe button.